I'm Shalu Kumari. Uh, currently, I'm a data analyst at DB Shankar's. Uh, I have completed my post-graduation in physics and my graduation in physics as well. The company which I'm working in right now, it's uh, it most more focuses on uh, supply chain and logistics, and it have a great uh, culture. And pe- all the people here are really like friendly and always supporting and always ready to tell me how can I perform better and where should I focus more on and always like fr- really friendly. Uh, right now, I'm a part of a land transport team. Tools that I usually use are excel power bi sql which was also included this course when i was doing my final year project i came across multiple data science and visualization tools and this whole process was so like thrilling for me when i started learning about it and i was using it and its whole process was so captivating so i started learning more about it i explored this field came to know more about uh, uh, machine learning and python what was the importance of data visualization and how it was impacting the other industry since i came from a science field and i was looking at it from a science perspective but uh, i came across like how different industry let it be like sports fashion retail e-commerce every company was using it so i started exploring this field so i was looking for multiple courses and resources to learn about it to explore it more so that's when i came across analytics lab i went through its uh, module and a whole syllabus different projects that it included I also consulted few of my friends who was already data scientists and asked for their perspective about this course that should I take it or should I go for another course so they also suggested me that yeah this course includes all the possible resources and the tools that you'll ever have to come across and all the projects were great here since I have done these projects I'll say that all the projects have different level of difficulties and it makes challenge yourself also like yeah you need to do this and step ahead of your like normal way of doing it and uh, do some research and doing like different like you have to put some effort to do it and that was the best part i'll say when i came across the analytics lab i had lots of question like uh, what would be included in the course how long this course will be for how about was the payment method and who all will be my instructors there is an option to log in and get a demo account i did that too i went through different lectures also and the mentors were really great and they were all solving people's question regarding the course and the actual context that was the best part and a part of that he told me about the method of payment the installment method like which i did and he told me about when the course will be started which course will be more suitable for me according to my timeline as i was doing an internship and i was available in weekdays also so he so told me that weekdays will be better for me should i did an online method so yeah i was comfortable with all the three noida or gurugram or bangalore that's but i did i chose bangalore one yeah. my course started with excel and sas sas was appointed to us as a mentor and he did a great job he used to like interact with us all the time whenever a part was completed he would ask if you have any question even though we won't be having any question and he will ask okay now you have a question now you have a question and he was really supportive in the whole process he helped me out the first was excel and then the next module was sql which was again covered by him then was the power bi then we moved on to the programming language which was python and then uh, it was statistical class uh, which was covered by chandra mouli sir and he did a fabulous job i didn't have any doubt after whatever he, like the whole everything he taught me after that we had a machine learning class uh, so yeah the each of the mentors were really supportive and always ready to answer a question even like it will take another half hour in the class uh, and i didn't think doing it and online we had any challenges because uh, the uh, a lab uh, training team is always there to answer your question whatever i'm doing right now is has already been taught in uh, our courses even the mentors told us that most of the time you will be using pivot tables and we lookups and you will be coming across like how to handle date values and all that sort of things and actually it does he was right that we come across most of those thing only in excel we use we lookup mostly and pivot tables doing uh, like handling date values and that sort of thing my work is not more into excel but mostly into power bi and we really use sql it most on to excel and power bi and all the things that was covered in power bi i have been using these everyday basis making dashboards and using buttons and uh, 
doing different kind of visualization we were uh, taught that which kind of data would be more applicable in which kind of visualization and that saved a lot of time in my work right now yeah so that really helped me out a part of the what was taught in our uh, lectures on the projects they definitely covered everything it even covered more difficult questions for which i had to do more research and do personal other projects to like to know like what should be my approach to that question to do that question correctly and to make that mentor understand what was my thinking while doing that question so uh, i'll say all the things that i'm using at this position as a data analyst here has already been covered in that course so far So just after my DVA uh, module uh, completed, that was data visualization analysis course. We had our Zoom call again. We meeting with all the students. We were told that there will be a PRP exam, which was uh, like placement preparation exam, and that will be for each module, like for DVA, then Python, and then machine learning. And there will be three chances to give that. And only if only those students who will be like who have completed and passed this exam, that that PRP exam, which will include another MCQ, will be like able to. Uh, sit in placement. So uh, initially, when I gave my first PRP, it struck me like uh, it was tougher than all the project actually. So I didn't clear it in my first attempt, but by second attempt, I was able to crack it, and uh, that's when I was like uh, the this opportunity of D uh, D B Shankers was uh, given to me in the placement. On the second attempt, I came to know why these questions was that hard because when I was preparing for interviews and I was giving different interviews as well, similar questions was asked as as I gave. in prp after each module there is also an exam that you need to complete uh, a part of the projects and those uh, exam also prepared me for this interview including that prp this prp is not only like uh, making you enable to sit in that uh, placement but also making you ready with us those question which will be asked by the interviewer from the company it makes you more familiar with the concept and questions that they will be asking when you are pre- preparing for prp you are already preparing for the interview basically my overall experience was great it was terrific i'll say all of the mentors are really great all of my mentors was like also helping me on my personal project like okay so i'm getting stuck here how should i tackle this and he used to answer me okay look at here if i had any resources which i came across online i used to send him links so uh, i found this here and i don't know what this mean and he used to like okay okay so this is what it mean i have taught this in class the, in this part go again to that class and watch it and if you have any doubt again and he used to like help me out overall all of the mentors i'll say uh, one thing that i like to add that don't stop here with the projects and all the courses all the things that have been taught to you do your research uh, again whatever has been taught in the class go sit for a while like an hour or so go again with the classes and all the topics that you come across do a little search research there are plenty of free resources online let's take like kaggle youtube even there is a small doubt that resource and that research will clear it out and of course that you can go to the mentor and ask them but it's better that you do your research also because a part of what was taught in the class you will get more knowledge as well if you are doing research and like doing your own project as well